What is up, everybody? Calvin Bowie of FKN Delicious, and I am here in San Mateo, downtown San Mateo. I got reached out, or a restaurant reached out to me named Gal, and they said they had something called the Fuzzilla. Now, I didn't cheat. I didn't Google the Fuzzilla. All I know is that he said, come hungry. So, my last meal was 2 p.m. yesterday and I fasted all the way until now. It is now 3.43 on a Friday. I went for a 10K run last night. I went for a 10K run this morning. I've drinking water. I had coffee. You all know what happens when you have coffee on an empty stomach. It cleans everything out. Now, I've never done a food challenge before, and I wouldn't say this is much, too much of a food challenge, but in there, there is going to be a beef rib. There's going to be a uh, lobster tail, a whole lobster. Uh, I know there's going to be pho noodles. There's going to be filet mignon, if I know this guy. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm ready for it yet, but since we have 42 minutes together, you're going to see me try to at least eat as much as I can. If not, I'm going to try to finish this. Do it for you guys. Before we go into uh, today's episode, I want to give a quick shout out to uh, Jess from Toledo, Ohio. Jess is a supporter of the show. She pledged $100 to have her name shouted out at the beginning of this episode. So yes, 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 uh, your, your, the reason why I'm saying it all that way, because I recently did an episode of birria and she said I can't pronounce it birria I had to call it uh, be be yeah be yeah so we had this long conversation about tagine is not called tagine it's called tagine birria has its own way of saying it I say birria because I see double r's she wants me to pronounce it birria or what have you so just that shout out is for you Thanks for pledging $100 to the show. And if you want to pledge $100 to the show and get your shout out, there is a Venmo and PayPal in the description below. Send me, uh, send me $100 in the description below. Send me what you want to say and I'll give you a shout out before the show starts. This episode, of course, is all about the Fuzzilla. I've seen some episodes about people eating uh, big bowls of pho on YouTube. I have to say that in Vietnam, the portion sizes are a lot smaller than what I've had here thus far. Um, pho in Vietnam, I think a really, really good bowl of pho is like $3.50, $4. I've seen bowls of pho in San Jose go for about 50 or $15. I Sorry, I'm sorry, $15. But the portion sizes are like Honestly, they're like two and a half times the size of what we what we eat in Vietnam. This bowl of pho, pho with everything—the beef rib, the filet mignon, the lobster tail—I think it comes in at seventy-eight dollars or eighty-five. Hey, how much is the fuzzilla? Seventy-nine dollars plus tax and tip. Don't forget to tip uh, twenty-five percent. Uh, so you're probably looking at a bowl somewhere in the range of $90.95. I've never seen uh, a bowl. That, that's not the fuzzilla. If this is the fuzzilla, I'm going to finish it right now. No? <laughs> no, this is just the sauce. Um, this Kay. is for the lobster. That's dipping only. Okay. And then, yeah, this is just normal beef fuzz sauce for the fuzzilla. Okay, do you know what this is? That's the limes and jalapenos. Okay. And then that's poison and sriracha. Good job. Are you ready? Uh, no, I'm not. That, this is the uh, the guy who created the Fuzzilla. And dude, that's bigger than my head behind you, man. <laughs> what? There you go, man. Good luck. I don't know about luck. <laughs> I think I'm going to die, dude. Let me turn this camera around. You get to see the beef rib just hanging out the top right here. I'm going to turn the camera around. I'm going to show you what we're working with right now. And um, dude, I don't know. Why did you reach out to me and why did I, uh, why did I accept this challenge? One, two, three. All right, so 
you have an entire main lobster, lobster tail, the row, the claws. The head's just there for decoration. I'm not actually going to eat it. You have the beef rib. Dude, this thing is gigantic. Let me, let me get the right angle for that. That's ginormous. You got beef in the back. You got beef in the front. You have a flank. You have a filet mignon. What's that? What's all that? Why do you give me stuff? Stop giving me stuff. Has anybody finished this before? Uh, one guy. And what happened to him? Did he, did, is he still alive? He's okay. He's okay. Is he? He came, uh, he came for a battle. He came for a battle. <laughs> I came for a battle too. I'm going to keep the camera really low on this, on this show because I really want to, I want you guys to watch me suffer while I do this. All right, man. Here we go. I've been fasting for 12 hours. I did my 20K of walking. Everything's cleaned out. I got 34 minutes left on this video. Jess, I, I appreciate you supporting this. Uh, or do, I appreciate you donating $100 to this show. I should figure out how to do this. There's noodles on the bottom. If I don't eat the noodles first, it's going to expand and not be fun to eat. There is a whole tendon in here, dude. All right, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna speak less and I'm gonna eat. So this is gonna be a, a half mukbang, half food challenge. The broth is nice and flavorful. I'm gonna, and I'm gonna try for it. I mean, all right, I'm gonna go for the lobster tail first. This is the main lobster tail. It has a lot of roe in it. And what I love about it, it's, it's a really firm uh, lobster meat. I'm trying to do some just try some small bites, and I'm trying to um, chew it really well. Just the meat alone looks like I don't know, eight pounds, ten pounds. Lobster is good, really flavorful, really fresh. One person has finished this. I wonder what the strategy was. If Sunny was here right now, what would he telling me? All right. Couple minutes in, lobster tail's finished. Let's go into the pho because, oh my God, dude. There, nobody eats this much noodles in a lifetime. When I don't eat the noodles now, they're gonna expand and then I'm gonna be SOL. I've never done a, um, a food challenge before. all that noodle. Exactly. I'm not going to drink much broth because that's going to expand the noodles in my stomach. I'm going to try to finish the, um, I'm going to try to bite the noodles to make them smaller so that maybe my stomach can find a crevice to hide it all. And again, I'm not, I'm not in a rush, right? There's no time limit besides the memory card. <clears throat> There's wonderful flank steak in here. 
I'm kind of scared to kind of dig around because I'm scared of find, like what else I'm going to find in here. He might have hidden some beef meatballs down her knee. He might have hidden uh, a, a shank maybe. But what do I always say? Come to win. <clears throat> I came prepared. I got a good nine hour sleep last night. No rush, no rush. Just enjoy, enjoy every moment of this. I forgot, don't, don't drink the broth, okay? Hand up here so that I don't drink the broth. Mm. I wonder if Sunny ever done a uh, um, eating challenge. I wonder if Mark Ween's ever done an eating challenge. So 29 minutes to go. Mm. Okay. Mm. I'm about halfway done with all the flank meat, which, thank God, high quality USDA choice, Armenian Prime. The meat definitely is soft to the bite, so it's easier to swallow and chew. And again, I'm in no rush. This is my enjoying face. This is before the, um, the meat sweats start falling in or drop, before the meat sweats start coming into me. All right. <clears throat> I'm gonna leave the, um, the meat aside for a little bit. I'm gonna eat this wonderful lobster roe. So this is where female egg sacs, where all the goodness of a, a lobster is. Mm. It's like the butter of the sea. No, don't, don't drink. Don't, don't, don't drink broth. Don't drink broth. Okay. All right, let's take, a, let's take a bite of noodles right now while my stomach is still somewhat uh, hungry. Try to get this, this bad boy down. All right, now, <clears throat> this monstrosity of tendon, it's gonna be put aside because if I have to finish that at the very, the very end, at least I know that I can gnaw on it until, until something happens. All right, so far so good. Whew. Take your time, Callan. No rush, don't drink, don't drink the broth. Ah. Put a little bit of hoisin, and sriracha on there, just so that the palate has different flavors and it doesn't get mundane. Mm. All right, so far so good. Cedric, are you around? Can I get an extra bowl? I have a, I have um, I have an idea. <laughs> I have an idea. All right, another crab claw. Oh, 
Lobster claw. Mm. Anybody? Is there a, somebody out there? Can I get a bowl? Can I get a bowl? Okay. So I'm coming to win. I'm coming, I'm coming for this, baby. All right. How far did you get? Good, man. I'm really good right now, dude. Okay, so I, 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 I got a... No, no, that's still a long way to go. I know, but I, I, have, a, I have strategy. I'm gonna put the noodles aside so they they don't they don't open up in the uh, in the broth. So if by any and I'm not cheating, I'm putting the bowl, I'm putting the noodles right into the bowl next to me. What I'm trying to do is I'm gonna try to eat and I'm gonna try to and try to do the noodles dry. Now this lobster head has no meat left, so thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm gonna put you to the side because I'm all done with that. And pretty much now it's, it's the beef rib, it's the bowl of noodles, and I have this big tendon in front of me. So I'm gonna go with the beef rib next. And uh, I'm gonna try to do half the beef rib. I'm trying to do half the beef rib, tear it in half, and then let's see how far I get with that. Now, so far, it's been uh, a lobster tail. Mmm. That is high quality beef. That is good beef. I lost her tail. Mm. I finished the claw. This is the last piece of claw. I had some of the, the lobster roe a minute ago. Um, mm. Mm. It's still a little bit of surf and turf. Okay, Jessica, thanks again for sponsoring this video and, and pledging $100. This little morsel of uh, lobster and, and beef, it's for you, for Leah, for your husband. Mm. Yeah. I'm feeling good. 23 minutes left. My jaw isn't dying. I'm gonna have one big scoop of noodles in the bowl. That should be that should finish the bowl. Mm. One more lobster call. One more lobster. Look at the size of this main lobster. Mm. I could have sworn that I had two claws already. Maybe this, maybe this lobster has three claws. Mm. One. Again, I'm feeling good. Relaxing. Open a diaphragm, push all that noodles and meat downwards. <sighs> Come to it, baby. Come to win. All right. In this bowl, right now, there are no more noodles. And I'll turn the camera around and show you guys. In this bowl, there are no more noodles. Okay, there is three quarters of the beef rib. There is a bowl of dry noodles, which I think was the right move. And then I have this big uh, tendon to, to gnaw on to finish up. And that's how I'm gonna do it. I'm, I'm gonna just, oops, I'm gonna turn this camera. <clears throat> I'm gonna go just that, I'm gonna go do the beef rib. This fat in the back, this membrane here, does not count as the beef rib. Uh, this thing just fall, just pulls apart. That means it's been braising in it in, in the far broth for 
I'm going to guess 24, 36 hours. A lot of fat has rendered off of the beef. This leaves you strands of tender beef. Mm. Mm. Now I try to take two big bites. Try to swallow. <sighs> Trying to push that meat downwards. If you ever done a uh, food challenge, comment below. Let me know what what your, your strategy is. Okay. Go. Right. All right, last two bites. Mm. Feeling good. I'm gonna go after the noodles next to get half those noodles down so that I don't get I don't I don't end up with the bowl of noodles I can't finish it. Last bite. All right, napkins, please. Nineteen minutes left to go. I'm feeling really good. Okay, so thank you. I'm gonna do something different now. Now that sauce with the uh, that lobster dipping sauce has a nice sweetness to it, has nice fattiness to it, and I find that I find that if I if I uh, if I put the sauce over the noodles. My mind might think it's a different dish, and therefore it might eat this the noodles as if it's something new. All right, still going. All right, first bite, good. Noodles haven't expanded too much. The starch is starting to come out. So I, I should keep that. I should keep that in mind, but the sauce definitely provides uh, just a different something different in my mind. And I gotta tell you in mind that you can do this. You you got this, Calvin. You got this. Hmm. Whoa. Whoa. No rush, right? I'm here. You're here. You know what? I'm gonna take my sweatshirt off and I'm gonna really get into the game. Mm -hmm. I'm down to pretty much the last 30%. Ugh. So, sweatshirt comes off, right? Dry fit. I'm gonna do the Randy Santel. Uh, whoo! The Randy Santel hat. You can, I always watch him eat these uh, food challenges. He does that. Shout out to Sweatshop, Sweatshop Official. Shout out to Nick Collection. If you haven't seen any of our previous episodes of uh, Lockdown Diaries, go check it out. Okay. I'm starting to get gassy. I'm starting to... Uh, really feel like what's in my stomach is trying to find crevices, trying to find spaces to hang out at. Before I go any further, let's let's definitely do some noodles, so I don't get stuck with them at the very end. On a full scale, I'm probably fifty percent right now, but I'm thirty percent left over to until I finish. So. Ah. Mm. 
People are born. Legends are, is what you make of yourself. Make, it's what you make of your. Legends is what you make of yourself. Sorry. Woo! Yeah. Feeling good. Got my fat pants on today. Got my got my joggers. Came to win. I came. I came to win. Bit. I'm coming to win, baby. I'm coming to win. Coming to win. Okay. Now, this beef rib is there's still two sections left of the beef rib, and this middle part is a lot of membrane. So I'm gonna leave this to the very end. I don't. I want to win. But I want to win fairly. Ooh. I don't want to win like uh, with an asterisk. Okay, so not bad, right? Not bad. Not bad. Not not bad. bad. I'm uh, 14 you minutes know, left. You have to win. You gotta drink the soup. Too. No, you don't, dude. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> I get everybody finished eating, but they they can finish the drink. No, so. you don't. Yeah. He's just messing around. <laughs> I'm allergic to to, to broth. Yeah. Let's see how far you can go. Okay? See how far you go, yeah. Mm. This beef rib. Is this USDA prime or choice? Uh, prime. Prime. Has a great meaty flavor. After he braises it, he puts it on the grill, chars it off, and brings a lot of smoky essence to it. I just gave Is away. I just gave away your secret. <laughs> just shreds apart. You know? I see people. Three people sharing this. I think that if you're in the Bay Area, if you're in San Mateo, come down to Gout Restaurant. There is a two hour wait most days. So be warned, um, be warned. I rocked up today between uh, lunch and dinner service. So I had the whole restaurant to myself. Feeling good. Feeling effing good. I haven't dropped the one F-bomb the whole entire, the whole entire uh, episode, so I'm pretty proud of myself. Did you guys think I could get this far when that bowl came out? Be honest. Comment below. Mm. I'm sure I'm going to see a lot of people saying hell no or F no. So when it came out. That beef rib. This is the bone of the beef rib. This is my head. Y'all know how big my head is, right? This thing is huge. I wish I had a dog right now. I give I give the bone to the dog. All right, meat. There's one piece of meat left. Woo! Keep going. <clears throat> Mental game strong. For those of you who fast forward to this part of the video, I don't blame you. Cause I haven't said much, I haven't said anything seriously good. Oh, since I finished the lobster. Woo. About one bite left, All right? But one bite left, so I'm good on that. There's no, there's no, uh, there's no broth or soup in there, so I'm not gonna expand. This is their um, uh, sugarcane juice with kumquat and mint. So I'm getting close to it. I'm, I'm getting close. This, this is the this is the last piece of meat. It's the last of the noodles, and then there's this knuckle that. That knuckle is hard, dude. That knuckle is hard. Whew. Try a little with the coconut coffee. It's pretty good. I will, I will, I will. Starting to get the meat sweats. Starting to start, starting to feel all of that, that, that protein coming on. But. Well, at least you don't have to eat for the next two days. Mmm. <laughs> Vietnamese coffee, coconut ice cream. This is something that we find a lot in Hanoi, the north part of Vietnam. And, ooh. 
The coffee has a really nice. Sorry to lose words right now. Coffee, go get a coffee. If you're in Vietnam, check it out. I'm not gonna describe it. I'm, I'm, I'm focused right now. Oh, Whew. Somebody massaged my back and rubbed my stomach. <sighs> 10 minutes left. You sat through 30 minutes thus far. Don't, uh, don't, don't turn off the video now. Oh, these kids, crazy ass fools. All right, sit up straight. Do some yoga breathing. I'm like 90% finished with this meal, which is 89% more than I thought I would get to on the reels. But uh, there is this big knuckle. Again, it's a big, big beef knuckle. There's meat around it. The meat that was on the outside, it's, I'm sure it's flavorful. I'm sure it's great, but that ain't gonna sit in my stomach well tonight. Uh, there's still one bite of noodle left and a little bit of beef rib. Whew. And for the most part in the broth, you know, besides some onions, uh, th there, there isn't any lobster left. Oh, there's lobster. Some lobster left. Without, without dying, I know my limit. The fuzzilla is the real deal. When you have beef ribs this big, you know that that piece of short that beef, that piece of beef rib was gigantic. I'm gonna spend the next, last few minutes drinking my coconut coffee. Try to keep it all down and do my outro guys thank you so much for joining us on fk and deliciousness this was uh the calvin eats fuzzilla it was a challenge in itself uh if you're in the bay area san jose santa clara fremont oakland newark berkeley san francisco santa rosa sacramento milbray I'm ready, I'm ready out of city center. Come down to Gal. It's located in downtown San, uh, San Mateo. And go after this. Tell them Calvin sent you. You'll get a free napkin. Like they gave me here. You're going to get free napkins when you say Calvin sent you. Make sure you, make sure you go to the kitchen. Say hi to Jihai. Say hi to uh, Vit. They're both the chefs and owner of Gal. Tell them you saw the Fuzzilla. Oh, shit. Shoot, it's starting to expand. On FK and Deliciousness. Guys, we are now monetized on YouTube. What does that mean? It means sit your booty in the chair, watch all the episodes because every, or watch all the, um, the uh, ads because uh, I make three to seven cents for every view. But on a big scale, that's 30 bucks. You know, 30 bucks and I do 10 videos a month, that's $300. That's $79. This is three bowls of the Fuzzilla that I get a chance to go out and explore. Whew. Um, so please uh, watch, the, uh, watch, the, watch the videos, watch the ads. I really do appreciate your support. Oh, what else? Um, like the video, share the video. This video, I hope to get like 
couple thousand views. Share the video with your friends, with your family. Tell them there's a guy from Vietnam who is currently in America uh, shooting all the foods from all around the states and cities. And, and he's a funny guy. Do that. Share with them. Because those views start, uh, they start, oh, they start um, piling up. And then we get, you know, 2,000, 3,000 views. Uh, what else? Oh, if you like the video, the episode you just watched and you want to buy me a beer, there's a, again, there's a Venmo and PayPal, uh, link in the description below. Uh, buy me a beer, uh, a donation and pledge of $1, $2, $5, $10, uh, crazy enough, you know, buy me a bowl of, of, of Fuzzilla. It's a hundred dollars. Um, but just know that all that money does go back into small businesses uh, like Gao, like other restaurants, uh, Vietnam's in Valley Fair, and uh, I'm drawing a blanker now in other restaurants I've eaten at. But um, what did I shoot? Oh, 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 Taqueria Cancun is where I shot yesterday. But um, consider, consider donating and pledging money to the channel. Uh, it definitely does help us out. And I just, I call it buying me a beer because, uh, you know, the, the, uh, $10 buys me a nice IPA. So I definitely, once in a while, I'll take those $10 and drink an IPA. Uh, what else? The one thing that you guys can do to support small businesses is, oh, oops. The one thing that you guys can do to make a difference is support small businesses. Support small businesses like Gao and all the other restaurants I've named and who have been on the show thus far. This will probably be episode 53 in the list thus far. And over uh, five months having 53 videos is uh, an accomplishment on itself. It's, accomplish it's an accomplishment for you guys to sit through 50 53 hours of me doing this. So thank you so much for your support. And uh, hey, if you want your shout out, uh, if you want your name shouted out in the episode, I am... Uh, selling off shout outs for a hundred dollars. Uh, you can PayPal me or Venmo me. Just make sure in, in the, uh, the in, in the description of the uh, Venmo or PayPal, just say shout out to, I'll give the shout out to them. Or if, maybe that's you. That's it. Fit, where are you? Are you, are you, are you? I got far, man. I got really, really far. I, it's not bad, right? I got, I got, I got one bite of noodles. I got one bite of beef. The, 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 the beef knuckle, I can't do it. Not, it's not because it's not delicious. It's absolutely delicious. I just know that's gonna be too much protein in my body today. <laughs> <laughs> he laughs. He laughs about this. It's about, uh, that's um, 65, 70%. 70%. How, okay, how many pounds of noodles are in that bowl? Um, one pound? I, I never measured. Okay. Let's just say it's half of my stomach right now. And then, and then half the noodle already fills you up. Yeah, half the noodle fills you up. The beef rib again, when you got well, the beef rib, when you have ribs this big, you know that the, the original beef rib was this long. It cooks down and it shrinks, but it doesn't go away. It just contracts itself into this big, massive amount of protein, which was great because all that, all that fat really rendered down and the meat USDA prime is truly flavorful. The lobster flowed in from Maine twice. Oh no, every other day he says he, he sells about 30 lobsters a day, which is great. The marrow from the- Oh, it's the yeah. marrow. That's, oh. That's how you get all the fat and uh, flavor. Fat and <laughs> fat equals flavor. Remember that. That's why I call this my flavor saver. The, uh, the sugar cane juice, Directly from Vietnam is phenomenal. This coffee, coconut coffee drink is also, no, no, not alcohol, right? No, 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 alcohol. No, alcohol. Alcohol free for the, those who want a buzz, but also great flavor. This is it. Down to my last minute. Guys, thank you so much for joining us. I got to 92%. And I'm- All the, all the meat. All the meat, all the noodles. The, 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 the strategy was, Eat the noodles, don't eat them all, 
take half of it out, put it in a bowl so they don't they don't expand, and really try to eat around. So I took a lot of people to eat everything, they save the broth, and then make the ramen at home. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's not a bad idea. It's not a bad. No, I'm, I'm so full though. I will see you guys later. My name is Calvin Bowie, aka Captain Charisma, and I will see you guys later.